Hi, I'm Cheryl from the Sewing Room channel. Now many of you have asked me, how come you're not doing more of your video blogs? Well, I've been so busy putting out all my other videos, I haven't had a lot of time. I've put out over 100 videos in the last year and a half that I've had this channel. So I'm getting back into it and so here we go. The Christmas panel quilt that I put out a few weeks ago was very popular. It was a big hit with all of you. So I wanted to show you there are more types of Christmas panels available out there if you're willing to look for them. So let's take a look. I just recently ran across a box of Christmas panels that I had been looking for and I was so excited when I found them. So here you can buy panels that have pre-printed Christmas stockings on them. Now for some reason I already had these cut out but I never finished them. So look for stuff like this. Gives you directions. The directions are printed on the fabric on how to put it together. Alright now here is a tree skirt panel. Now one of the problems that I had with this when I was going through the box I've only got one half of the tree skirt. I don't know why I don't have two. Maybe I didn't know I had to buy two. This was a long time ago. So when you buy a tree skirt panel, check on it to make sure how many you need to buy. But I have a way I can enhance this to make it into a full size tree skirt. So let me go on to the next one. Now here is a panel in which it's got all these different squares on it, okay? Different things going on. Now you can cut some of these out and put them in placemats, make pot holders, or cut each one out, put a little border on it, and start building a quilt out of it. So you can do a lot with this one, okay? Now, here is one with squares all over it in which you can make pot holders. This is a great panel for pot holders. So just cut them out, maybe put a little border on it, and finish making pot holders. A great project for Christmas time. Now here's another small panel that I bought and it's got smaller squares on it. This is also perfect for making pot holders. You cut these out, put a little border on it, and make it into a pot holder. Or, if you want, make a bunch of squares and put it into a quilt or table runner. Here's another one. This was companion fabric to a wall hanging, Christmas wall hanging that I made. And there are the same size squares all over it. They are a perfect size for pot holders. Really easy, easy project. So look for things like this, okay? Now here's one that's got squares on it that are also great to cut out and make pot holders. What I liked about this was that it came with companion fabric that you could use as trim on the pot holder if you wanted. And here's the companion fabric on here. Okay, so this is another great idea. It takes all of the thinking out of your head for you and you just know if you buy the uh, Companion fabrics, it's going to work. Now there are panels out there for pillows. Look at this, reindeer pillows. What I like about these, you cut them out, there's enough for four pillows on here or you could put the same one on the back. You can add a little ruffle to it to even give it a little more personality. So look for pillow panels. Here's a couple of more pillow panels. Okay, this has got Santa Claus all over them. Another great idea for a pillow. And then here's one more. This is more elegant. I can see this with a nice pretty red ruffle around it or maybe even some fringe. Okay, great pillow ideas. And here's some with a snowman on it doing different activities. Okay, all right, so now let's get into wall hangings. I love panels that you can use as a wall hanging. 
and this one is so country like I love it I used to really be into country crafts and things but I still my heart really likes this type of panel so you can get pre-printed panels out there put a little border on it and you've got a nice wall hanging for the Christmas season or make it into a bigger quilt okay here's another one that would make a great wall hanging it's really narrow so you put a little border on it and you have a nice wall hanging okay now here's another one this one is fun I don't know if mr. cameraman can see all of it but you've got a Santa Claus up here at the top okay and down here on the bottom I'm gonna hold this up hopefully you, he can see it are little tree ornaments that you can make and it comes with printed instructions on how to do this this is a quick easy project it's even something you could introduce to your children and they can learn how to sew doing this one this one is fun and then here's another one again with that little country Christmas type theme to it and then here's another one a little more sophisticated look to it and then this one is fun this would make a fantastic wall hanging Let's see if I can hold it up sorry my right hand doesn't work so it's hard for me to hold stuff up see that okay now you can also get panels in which they're called an advent panel and it's usually a tree excuse me let me flip this over it's usually a tree and it's got little squares on the tree with numbers on it and then at the bottom are little squares that hang in those trees and it's a countdown to Christmas so many days to Christmas it has instructions along the edge here this edge right over here that tells you how to make it so it takes all the thinking out of it for you and then here's one more Christmas panel again it for a wall hanging it tells you how to put little loops on it instructions are pre-printed on there and it's a very fun little one another great one to introduce sewing to your children easy easy project now this one is a panel that you can make into a beautiful old-fashioned quilt this when my mother passed away I was going through all of her things and I found this in her stack of fabrics and I just love it and someday I'm going to make this into a really old-fashioned elegant quilt you just cut these squares out put a little border around it and there you have a beautiful quilt okay here's another one this one is if you don't want to do a lot of work you could leave it like it is put a border around it and make a quilt just like it is right now with snowmen and all these other little uh, elegant Christmas pattern squares all over it and don't forget your front door to your house these are door panels this is a full-size Christmas tree okay I don't know how well mr. cameraman can see this but this is great and you just do your uh, uh, quilt binding excuse me your fabric your cotton batting your backing put some loops on it to hang it and you have a great front door covering isn't this cute and I don't worry I've got one more to show you here's a snowman uh, door hang to put on your front door and you can excuse me you can embellish it even more by cutting out these other little accessories out here and adding a third dimension to it and there again it comes with instructions on how to put it all together okay now if you're interested in learning more about panels at the end of the video will be some links in which you can view other videos that I have that I talk about panels I love panels 
I probably have over a hundred panels which my husband is upset with me about but I'm a fabricaholic I hoard fabric I love my fabric I love stroking it and I'm sure there's many out there who can identify with me now if you want to keep informed on more of my videos get more of my blogs Keep, uh, click on one of the subscribe buttons. There's one down there and one up there, okay? Click on any one of those. YouTube's gonna ask you for your email address. Go ahead and give it to them so that you get that email that tells you when I have a new video, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. I'm Cheryl. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. Very informal. <laughs> Are you still filming? <laughs> oh, bye.